Hey guys, Aaron Kurtz here, and this video is about the lie and the temptation, the thing that comes about with OCD that tries to tell you that there's that one thing that you did in the past, or there's a certain thing that if you just correct it somehow, um, if you tell somebody about it, offload that guilt, confess it to somebody, or try to rectify it or make it better in some way that all your OCD will be gone that your anxiety and OCD are just a manifestation of that thing that you did and it was wrong of you and so you need to fix it and this is just the way your mind sees it right it seems very common sense to do that well this is <laughs> This is the dilemma, this is the thinking pattern that your brain developed in childhood. And this is part of what got you to where you are right now. And that is this, this development that's built out of guilt and shame. And this started at a very young age. But it was you basing your worth, your value, your identity based on the things that you did. And... Um, and you develop these belief systems about yourself and the world to make yourself feel better. There was this, if you look at your, it's, it's easy for, for us to think when we get OCD, it's like OCD just came out of nowhere. You know, it's it, it just like all of a sudden, bam, you had this thought and you're just caught up in all this anxiety. And if you can look, if you understand with awareness, you can see that your life has been a history of anxiety. You're, it didn't, you didn't notice it because it was normal. And the whole obsessions and compulsions have been going on since childhood. You just didn't know that that's what that was. The beliefs you took on, the, the thinking patterns, the things you did, the behaviors, the personalities, the habits, those were all to calm down your guilt and shame. And so you've been doing this it just never became too pathological or life interrupting until you develop some sort of emotional overwhelm or exhaustion happen at some point in your life. And then bam, you got OCD. And so the shorter thing is that, Hey, you went through a very emotional, overwhelming experience or time and then OCD came. And then it's also the deeper thing is this is a pattern of how you've lived your life. And so, um, back to the first point is that OCD will basically that that thinking pattern is still working within you because it's what's worked and your brain is very strong and good at that so it's going to think that it's going to want you to relieve that guilt by doing something praying something confessing something telling somebody something try to fix it correct it and um, and you'll feel better and then you won't have all those thoughts the thoughts are there, the OCD thoughts and characteristics and symptoms are there because you've been running away from the emotion. You've been suppressing the feelings. And so we need to uh, have the awareness of what's going on so we can actually exert some control and conscious decision making to actually allow ourselves to sit and feel the feelings because your OCD brain, the brain development structure is not going to want you to feel. It's survived and developed habits to not let you feel these emotions and have you behave and act and think in certain ways. So you have to have awareness first and then think on these things, have the awareness and think about these things, these patterns, and you'll start to notice them happening. And then you can choose to not do compulsions or not do that thing to relieve the feeling, but to know that this is a pattern of emotional suppression. And so you're going to come back into the motion. Use your intrusive OCD as a, as a way to allow you to come into your body. Look at it as a, as a, um, as a gift, as a, as a way to look in. When everything up here is going crazy. What do you feel? How what does it feel like to have all that, have that disconnect and, and, and uncertainty and 
and just craziness. What does it feel like? Come into the feelings. Um, I'm always going to pull you back to that because OCD has always crazy ideas and beliefs and things it wants, it wants you to engage in. And um, it really, we're working with emotions underneath. So hope that helps. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time.